Some of Sydney's best-known RSL clubs are disappearing and members say it's because of the valuable land they sit on. They claim the RSL is selling out to property developers, putting greed ahead of their future. Traditionally, RSL clubs bring communities together. But in Bronte, there's a fierce neighbourhood fight. No shopping malls! A lot of people are really disappointed with the RSL because they say they're a part of our community, but really they've just sold us out. And this is how. A six-storey shopping mall, 28 apartments. A development that reportedly earned the sub-branch $10 million. It's a deal based on greed. The bigger the development they get, the more money the RSL gets. In recent months, six clubs in Sydney have closed and developers have already swooped in at three of those locations. Those are the, the high value um, residential redevelopment sites. Less than a year ago, this was the home of the Kensington War Memorial Club. It was sold to developers for a rumoured $7 million. The only reason that the RSL sub-branches are selling their property is because the clubs have failed. But even those clubs that aren't in financial difficulty are under threat. Suddenly the uh, people we're supporting are now turning against us to uh, close the club down. The directors of the club here at Malabar are so upset by plans to close this place down, they've taken their fight with the sub-branch all the way to the Supreme Court. It's a costly affair, but they say they're a viable business. They've got money in the bank and they're not going to back down. The RSL is where the new generations learn about Anzac Day, learn about the traditions. With all that gone, I'm scared that all that tradition will go out the window. Amelia Ballinger, Nine News.